everybody out there in YouTube land. So we are back on the boat today. Today I'm going to be running a wire so we'll be able to have another one up to the mast so that we'll have a deck light as well as the navigation light or the steaming light in the middle of the mast and the anchor light up top. So the way we have everything ran here with the solar panel and a charge controller and all that is then over here to the super controller when you're sitting at the dinette table this is where you're I call it the command center so this one we're gonna hook up to the roof lights we have the fog lights that's already the middle light on the mast and then we have our anchor light cabin lights running lights and then this LED light bar one, I'm going to do an LED bar up there eventually. <clears throat> so, we're going to get one run, a little wire here, and eventually it'll go up through here to where all the other wires are. And then we'll put a deck plug on the top, and then we'll have one on the mast that'll just plug right into it. So... This will be part one of doing that. We'll get the wire ran, and then in a couple weeks here, when I get up to the top up there, I'll show you what I'm going to do to do the plug. So, what we're going to do to start here is, my plan is, is I'm going to loosen, since the chain plate's out, I'm going to loosen up this bulkhead, and hopefully we'll be able to run the wire behind here, down, and then back there, and then just right to there. Boom. And then there's already a ground, and there's already a ground that runs up there, so all we need is the positive. So I'm going to get these three screws here removed, and then there's four down there, and a bunch up around the top. So I'm going to get to this, and I'll be back. All right, so we removed the trim piece there that also goes on the mass step. So next, what I need to do is get these screws removed, get those screws removed, and then get that wire out of the way that's already there. Run my new wire, and I'm thinking I'll just drill a little hole right there from this side so then it'll be hidden. So then I don't have to worry about the wire popping up from the other side or even being visible. So that's the plan. I'm going to get all these screws removed and I'll be back. All right, everybody out there in YouTube land. So it looks like change of plan because there's only a little bit of the old wire coming through for the stuff. And I have to run another wire up here anyway. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tape and cap these old wires off. <clears throat> and run new wires down and over. In the mask it's all LED lights. And the wire in the mask is only 16 gauge. These are 14 and I think this is a 12. That's the ground. So... And they're also too too much wire here to get a plug. So what I'm thinking I'm going to try to do is we'll put the plug here with the four wires. Because we're going to have an anchor light, the middle steaming light, and then a deck light. And the fourth one will be the ground. So I think what I'll do is I'll get that bulkhead out underneath. <clears throat> and we'll just run four brand new wires up here. So that's going to be the new plan. I'm going to head back down in and finish getting the bulkhead out. I'm glad I came up here and checked this out first. So now that I got a plan, I can get to it. So I'll be back once I get the bulkhead removed underneath and in the cabin. And I'll show you what I'm going to do from there. All right, we are back down and inside. So, as you can see, the old chain plate leaked. And water would come down. 
mess that up and then go down in here. And I believe the mass step actually leaked up here as well. So then we'd get water and it'd come down and mess this up. So eventually I'm gonna re-glass this or epoxy it and then we'll paint it with some bilge paint. <clears throat> this is the old transducer. We don't even use this one anymore. So I'm not gonna patch the bottom of the boat yet. Maybe next year. So and then right here is it goes to a metal plate that goes down underneath the boat. And then that allows you to hook up your grounding system. <clears throat> So I think some of this is just old paint that wasn't done right, so it's just coming off. So that shouldn't be too hard to fix all up. Anyway, so to get this bulkhead off, there are four bolts actually for these bottom screws. So you got to make sure you get the bolts off when you're doing the screws. And then there's the screws on the outside and the top. So I'm going to get these ones off and I'll be back. All right, everybody. So we got it removed. A little note is you can't pull it straight out left or right because of the lip down here and at the top. So what you have to do is you have to pull it to the side. So, we got that out. Now we can get to the wiring. I'm going to get everything cleaned up. And what I'll end up doing is from here, we'll run the four wires. Run it up right here. And then we will do a little hole up to the top of the boat. So let me get my wire and we'll get to it. All right, everybody out there in YouTube land. So after sitting and looking at everything for a while, I decided before I finish doing the wiring here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up fixing the compression post here and getting this all fixed first. So I'm going to get this old paint removed. That's chipping everywhere. Some of the old fiberglass. We're going to get some of the paint off of there. And we'll end up fiberglassing that in. And then if we come back here, there's the same thing. Another one of them. Talk about quality craftsmanship at the factory. You can tell some of these places that they didn't glass it in very well at all. So, and then like the back lip for the V-berth back there, I'm going to end up doing some thickened epoxy underneath it because the glass is real thin and I don't want it to crack anymore. So we'll do thickened epoxy around the whole lip and then we'll paint it. So this is going to end up being a two or three part video because it's getting kind of long and with the internet connection we have up here it makes it hard to upload if they get too big so this will be part one of what was starting out to be replacing the mask electrics and is ending up to be fixing the compartment by the compression post so i'll see you guys later if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below hit that like button and subscribe it helps us out and check out our Patreon in the description below.